What aspect of daily life disappeared from routine? And it slipped by unnoticed by most young kids walking themselves to school. I walked about two miles to and from school every day from the time I was in first grade until I got a bicycle. Then I rode my bike to school until I got a car my senior year of high school. All my friends walked or rode bikes too. It was the 70s and 80s and things were very different. I know a lot of people these days worry about kidnappings and such, but the factual data doesn't back that up. HTTPS Lecro or child kidnapping risk text to 20 more 20 recent ODOJ 20 study on 201 20 in 20 or 20 million. Our requirement to be aware of our neighbors. The host of a podcast, I recently listened to discuss how living without knowing the folks next door has become increasingly feasible thanks to the internet. We used to hang out on our block or go to dinners, birthday celebrations, and other social gatherings. It seems like nobody even has to identify themselves these days. We only really get to know one another when there's a grievance. I have no idea I was blind to it. Makes me think of a line from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Arthur remarked, you know, I really wish I'd listened to what my mother told me when I was younger. There are times like this, when I'm trapped in a Vogan at Elok with a man from Betelgeuse and about to die of asphyxiation in deep space. Why? What did she tell you? I didn't listen, so I don't know. I don't know about other countries, but here in the UK if you dial 1471 it tells you the last number to ring you. And at what time? My mum would finish work and pick us up from school. Then as we got in the house she'd ask either me or my brother to check 1471 on the landline phone to see if she'd missed any calls. I can't imagine I'll ever dial those numbers again. I'm not sure if it's still this way everywhere, but I rarely see kids out riding bikes, playing baseball or kickball in the street, or doing things like jump rope, hopscotch etc when the weather is nice. When I was a kid, especially in the summer. Kids were all over outside. Older people who didn't work during the day would sit on their porch and keep an eye on things. Television bumpers. A little interlude used to occur between the presentation and the advertisements. A few of them were quite inventive and fascinating. To wand IDs on the Disney Channel, in which a Disney star would create the logo with a wand, are something I believe my generation recalls. Additionally, there were bumpers with PSA letters or other real content. Maps getting lost. Hunching over a map with your friend and figuring out how to get somewhere. Getting lost and realizing that the map is old or inaccurate or something else is wrong. Guessing which is the best way to go. Getting it wrong, boo. Getting it right, yay. Reading the morning paper freshly delivered to your door and doing the puzzle. Setting the coupons aside to clip later. Checking the printed TV schedule for what station the game will be in. Looking up the movie times for the theatre in town. All in the paper. Always putting back the blockbuster rentals and giving them to my mother so she could return them. When she left for work. Then on the weekend she'd take us to go pick out new stuff to rent and the cycle continued until. Blockbuster went the way of the dodo. Making sure you had your Walkman iPod to MP3 player and headphones walking out the house in addition to the flip phone and going to the gym and tucking the wires of the headphones or earbuds under the shirt. Now everything is on our phones with Bluetooth. Morning newspaper. Reading magazines. The 6-0 news on TV when people got home from work. Checking the news weather report to see if it would affect any upcoming plans. Not daily but weekly life Saturday morning cartoons for kids. Sunday matinee movies. The dreadful Chevy advertisements featuring real people, not actors. It dawned on me one day. I hadn't seen one in a long time almost as if they had vanished from existence. However... I was aware that they had. I despised those fucking things, man. The 99 cents full-size cans of Arizona teas are currently going missing. Many stores now seem to be selling the larger plastic bottles for more money, or the smaller plastic bottles for 99 cents. Sincerely, I'm shocked at how long they've lasted at this cost. Ronald McDonald. 
I'm kind of surprised I haven't seen this one yet. Do you recall the elderly clown that appeared in and around McDonald's advertisements and restaurants vanished? Phased out during the peak of the clown scare prank phenomenon. Phone calls. It's all text these days. I'm not saying I want to spend hours on the phone with someone, but texting is just way less. Personal. I appreciate it for some things, but other times I'd rather to talk to friends. Reading the newspaper, especially on a Sunday morning when my entire family would dismember it and hand around sections, like a pack of lines around a kill. It kept us at the breakfast table an hour longer. Keeping a lot of family photos in residences. They're not entirely gone, but they used to be all over homes. I only truly notice them when I visit elderly people's homes. School buses. Everyone thought they were a waste of money. So instead of paying for a bus driver, everyone pays an hour a day in the school pickup drop-off line. Writing phone numbers and addresses in a little book. You ever lost all your contacts or tried to remember a number when your phone was off? Being able to purchase software goods. ETC without requiring a monthly subscription to access them all. Calling a phone number to listen to a message with the current temperature and the day's weather. Forecast. Not hearing about the US government, politicians, LGBTQ activism and everyone getting along. Having some television show that you had to schedule your time around watching. A home telephone. Newspapers. Phone books with coupons in the back. While some chewing gum contains sugar most chewing gum doesn't. Having breakfast together before heading out to work school. L33 speak. I'm not even sure which decade it vanished in.